everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video is yoga for connecting to our sexuality and our sensuality. Um, this practice is a great practice to do, uh, to connect into your body and how it feels to be in your body and to be mindful about our feelings. There is so much wonderful science out there on how connecting through mindfulness to our body and the sensations in it help improve our sex lives. Um, and so this practice is to help you guys use these tools in your yoga practice and mindfulness to improve your sex life, whether it be with a partner or by yourself. Um, so for this practice, you might want to block. We're going to do legs at the wall at the end, but uh, you also can just use a wall. So it's totally up to you guys. Um, get into something comfy and we'll get started. So we're actually going to start today lying on our backs and we're going to do a body scan. So come down onto the mat. Um, get nice and comfortable here. You can place one hand on like your lower belly near your sacral chakra, the other one on your heart if you want. Um, just find a place where you can really relax here. And then we're going to tap into our breath. So take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale side out of the mouth. And we're going to slowly start to scan our body from the bottom up. So. Noticing how our toes feel here. How the feet feel. How our ankles are feeling today. Might wiggle them side to side. Noticing how the calves feel. How the thighs feel, how it feels to be lying on the earth in general, right? Being supported here. Noticing how our hips feel, how our vulva feels, any sensations. Noticing how our belly feels. You have your hand on your lower belly. How does that feel to have that weight there? How the chest feels. The shoulders. The arms, wrists, and fingers. How your neck feels today. Your jaw. Is it tight? Is it loose? Are you clenching it? You can release. How the face feels, the forehead, the ears. Just tapping into here exactly how you're feeling. How does it feel to be in your body today? What sensations are you aware of when we start to slow down? On your next inhale, bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees come out wide, coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. And in this posture, we're very open here, right? And we're, we're releasing it through our hips, which can be a very vulnerable spot. So just acknowledging, you know, how this feels for you in your body, right? Is there any tension that you can use your breath to help release? Can you send your breath to certain places in your body to relax? We're going to go through um, some pelvic floor exercises. They're commonly known as Kegels, but I also like to talk about, um, you know, engaging our Uddiyana Bandha. So it's that um, muscle in our pelvic floor, you kind of squeeze it and it feels like uh, you may be, if you're like peeing and you're trying to stop midstream, that kind of muscle contraction feeling. Um, so we're going to work with holding them for about two to three seconds. So on our inhale, begin to squeeze your pelvic floor, engage the Uddiyana Bandha. And then exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release. Continue on like that. Moving with your breath. 
connecting to the sensations. Strengthening our pelvic floor can really help with improving sexual experiences for us. It can help us kind of connect and engage those muscles. So moving at your own time, doing this even for just like a minute or two a day, it's a really powerful tool. Before bed, or in the mornings when you're meditating, it can be something you can focus your energy on. We'll do one more, inhale, and then exhale, release. Awesome. Bring your knees up into your chest. And just rock side to side here, massaging out the lower back. And then when you're ready, we're gonna roll over onto whatever side feels comfortable for you and then begin to come up into a tabletop position. And from our tabletop position, we're just gonna do one cat cow just to kind of even out the spine here. So inhale, dropping the belly. Exhale, round. Awesome. And then we're going to come down onto our bellies and we're going to find ourselves in Sphinx Pose. So begin to bring your forearms out in front of you so your elbows are under your shoulders. Um, curl your tailbone under so really engage your pelvis um, and into the, into the mat. You can um, fire up your legs here too and kind of press your toes into the mat. So feeling that connection of your pelvis on the mat shoulders drawing down, belly opening up your heart here. And just notice how that feels for you. You know, to be applying a little bit of pressure through the weight of our body onto the mat into that sacral chakra area. So where we feel connected to our sexuality and our sensuality is just below our belly button. Tapping in there, just noticing how that feels. You can even kind of rock your pelvis, so maybe dropping your belly down and then curling your tail under here, and just massaging out our lower belly, massaging out the sacral chakra, moving the energy around in that spot while we breathe, and then connecting to any sensations that show up while you do that. We'll do two or three more breaths here. Inhale, opening the chest up. Exhale, curling down. Inhale, open the chest up. Exhale, curl one more. Move the energy one more time. You can envision a little orange ball kind of moving around in that space. Awesome, and then we're going to push ourselves up. Bring our knees together and then just sink your hips back. Coming into child pose here, letting our arms rest forward, curling in, and just acknowledging any sensations that might have shown up in your body there, tapping into how you feel, you're going to kind of massage your forehead from side to side on the mat here, getting rid of any tension that you might have been holding in your face, relaxing. Awesome, slowly push yourself up. We're gonna find our way into um, a seat here, bringing the soles of our feet together, knees out wide, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, begin to fold over. Just folding into ourselves here. Um, you'll have access to your feet, so I encourage you to kind of just massage out your feet here. So just putting your thumbs on the arches of your feet and moving them upwards, dropping your head noticing the sensation in your feet when you take some time to kind of give yourself a little bit of self-love and self-care being really mindful here you know feeling what it feels like to show yourself a bit of compassion letting our knees drop side to side opening up through the hips
We'll take two more breaths here. Last breath in. Exhale, release. Awesome, slowly come up. And we're gonna find our way onto our back for our final pose, which is legs up the wall. So if you have a block, you might use your block um, to lift your hips up, place it underneath, and then bring your feet over your hips here. Or you might just use the wall and put your legs up the wall. Um, you might get a blanket here to find yourself in a comfortable spot. So when we come into legs up the wall, it puts our body in a parasympathetic state. So it tells us to relax. It tells us that we're okay. The blood flow rushes from our feet all the way down into um, our body and um, throughout our body and towards our heart. So it helps kind of pump that blood to the heart a little bit easier, take some pressure off of it. And also too, as we know, blood flow is so, so, so important for um, connecting to um, a state of pleasure in our bodies, right? So increasing blood flow to our genitalia um, can help with creating orgasms and, and that type of pleasure and sensation. So um, practicing legs up the wall is a really great tool to kind of tap into how you may be feeling and different sensations in your body. Um, so we're just noticing here how it feels in your sacral chakra area and your vulva area. You know, really tapping into what it feels like to be in your body. Or in sensations that show up. Breathing deep. You want to stay in legs up the wall for at least one minute to get the benefits. But you can stay here for as long as you need. to the mat. Lift your hips up and then find your way back into your Shavasana. And I encourage you to go through the same body scan that we went through at the beginning of class on your own time. I'm just noticing the different sensations that might show up for you now, right? Non-judgmentally. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Share it with a friend. Follow us on Instagram at CVO Wellness. I hope you found what you were looking for. Namaste.